I'm your host Mike Sinclair with Team Viper Paranormal and you're watching another budget ghost hunting solution. Today's do-it-yourself project is going to be the $1 ghost detector. Now this is basically a simplified version of the V-Scope ghost detector. It's very similar to the E-Pod and the Trifield Natural Meter. It's basically an electroscope. Here's a quick look at the V-Scope. Now this is the V-Scope in enclosed in a, a black project box. It has a toggle switch on the side to turn it off and on. It has two LEDs, a red and a green, and two antennas. Now this is made to detect static energy. By default, both of these lights are going to be on when there's no charge present. When a negative charge approaches, the green light is going to go dim and the red light is going to get bright. When a positive charge approaches, the red light is going to get dim and the green light is going to get brighter. So both of these actually detect positive and negative. One makes it brighter, the other makes it dimmer. So that tells us that we're only going to need one of these. The, the second LED and um, antenna, this is not necessary. You're not going to need that. I, I've only done that to make this device a little bit easier to use and easier to recognize what type of uh, static charge that you're getting. Now I can't guarantee that this device is going to detect ghosts because we don't know what ghosts are or what they're made of. But if they are made up of static energy or able to manipulate static energy in any way, then this device is definitely going to detect that. Here's what you're going to need. First thing we're going to need is an LED. Now I recommend a red LED if you're going to be filming at night because it's just a lot easier to see. We're going to need a 9 volt battery connector and we're going to need a MPF 102 field effect transistor now all of these items are available at Radio Shack the transistor is going to run you a little over a dollar the LED about the same and you're probably going to get these in a pack of five for two or three dollars so you're looking about at four or five dollars to build this project but if you're ordering online these LEDs are as little as 12 cents. The, the same thing with the, the transistor, and these are really cheap as well. So you can literally build this project for a dollar. Now, I'm going to be showing you the simple circuit that's inside it, and you can take that knowledge, and you can make it as advanced as you want it to be. I'm also going to include a link that's going to have a diagram that's going to show you a little more in-depth how this works. And it's going to give you a lot more information about the device that you're building. Now, you can use a soldering iron if you choose. That's how I would recommend doing it. But if you don't have a soldering iron, that's okay because you can pick up the little crimp connectors and use those to connect your wires as well. So either way you want to go, it will work just fine. This is what the finished project is going to look like. It's very simple as you can see. I've, I've soldered this and it just snaps right on top of the battery. And when a negative charge comes up to it, it's going to dim, just like that. So this is what it's going to look like, and this is how it's going to work. Okay, the first thing we want to do, if we plan on soldering, we're going to want to cut this black plastic off so that you've got something exposed that looks just like this. And you can snip the wires off if you would like. As you can see, we've snipped the wires off on this one. If not, you can leave the wires and actually let them hang over the back of the battery and you could tape that there so that all you have to do is unplug it like that when you want to use it again. But we're going to take the plastic off just like this. Okay, now this is what the field effect transistor is going to look like. It's got three little wires coming out of it. One side is flat, the other side is round. Okay. If you have the transistor facing you with the rounded side on the top, the side on the left is going to be your antenna. So we're going to pull this to the side here so we can see that's the antenna. Now the one on the right is going to attach to the positive of your LED. Now there's an easy way to tell which one's the positive. Positive is longer. And it's like this with, with most LEDs. So this one is going to attach 
to the positive part of the LED like so. Now you can solder that or you could use those uh, wire crimps as we talked about earlier. Now again, I'm going to include a link that's going to have a lot better detailed instructions showing you how to do this so you don't have to rely solely on this video. The next thing we're going to do is take our 9 volt battery clip and we're going to attach the other side of the LED which is going to be the negative of the LED to the negative of this and we're going to we're going to solder that on top of that or whatever you need to do to to get that to attach if you're not using solder and last but not least the middle one is going to connect right here to the to the positive now I know it looks kind of weird like this but you should be able to tell better in the diagram and your final project is going to look something like this this is what the inside of the v-scope looks like just like this I've got the positive and the negative and in that link you're gonna see which transistor you need to make the negative one or excuse me the positive one as well and for the most part you can get those at Radio Shack if they have them in stock a lot of them do a lot of them do not but this is a, a Radio Shack project you can get all your stuff at Radio Shack for just a few dollars it's very easy to make again make sure you check out that link because it's gonna give you a lot better instruction than I did and it's gonna be a lot easier to build well, there you have it, the $1 ghost detector. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And also hope you guys will subscribe for more budget ghost hunting solutions, ghost hunting 101 tutorials, and basically everything paranormal.